Hey folks, how's it going? I'm Josh. We're reacting to Season 1, Episode 7 of An Indian Abroad. Uh, guys, please think to leave recommendations below because all our videos are based off of your recommendations. And if you are subscribed, we check out those recommendations and comments first. Uh, so let's jump right into Episode 7. First discovered by Western Eyes in about 1911, Machu Picchu in Peru. Oh. Truly one of the seven wonders. You must be very familiar with that. Breathtaking. No, I haven't heard of that. Never heard of it. Good view. Good view, important. Yeah. Um, bit out of the way. It's accessible by an 11-hour trek through the mountains. Well, that's not accessible, is it? <laughs> <laughs> that's true! That wouldn't cut the mustard on location, 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 would it? You can't live like that, can you? You can't... I, I mean, I, people moan at me. Delivery drivers moan at me. And I look just because I'm on the second floor. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're up there, they're going to have a right whinge on by the time they get to you. You don't seem that phased by the fact you've got to do an 11-hour trek. I like a walk. I'll probably see loads of better things on the way than I do when I get there. Uh, camping. Yeah, camping's all right, you know. I mean, it's quite relaxing. You're out in the open air. Quite like the idea of that. The only thing that's annoying with camping is a uh, toilet situation. Up here. In India, hole in the ground. It is better. It can't possibly be better. Why not? In China, where I thought they're advanced, it still had a hole in the ground. That's, that's my main panic that I've had about this trip. How am I going to do it in the woods? I made this a little camping chair. Got a little hole in it. So it doesn't rip anymore, I just put staples around it. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, because I haven't had any bare arse on it yet. But it's only eight quid. Pop that up. Sit there like that. And put my toilet roll in the drinks holder. Once I've used it a bit. Looks alright, doesn't it? Yeah, she thought that they were pretty good. That's a good. I mean it's the last one, isn't it? It's it should be the easiest one, because in my head, I'm going, it's over now. So no matter how bad it gets. I think that will keep me going. Not happy with this. Seriously, not happy with this. It's funny how the director's got in a different one. I'm not getting on this. Why is it landing on water? There's enough land here. Chop, chop some of the trees down. There's shitloads of land. Make another runway. <laughs> Why are we landing on this? <laughs> Thought we were just going to Machu Picchu. But I've got to go on a plane. And apparently there was smoke. Yeah, look, they've got the engine open. Look. But well, that's true. That's one of the things they're saying about like a lot of like countries, including China. The reason why they have like this so many such dense areas is because somehow how the government owns the rainforest and they preserve like not the rainforest, but the forestry and all the greenery. They reserve that stuff, which I guess the population will be a lot more spread out and less susceptible to disease and jazz like that and congestion if they just cut down some of the trees. But like I guess they refuse to. Mm. I mean, I don't really have an opinion on it, but just something I knew. Is it easily sorted? You fix it? No. You, you can't fix it. Don't worry, it's okay. It's okay. Bit of banging. Man. We get on it, met the captain, he's called George, which isn't a name that pilots normally have. <laughs> when you hear them on the speaker thing, it's normally the surnames they use and stuff in it, sort of the posh sounding. I've never heard, all right, George here, that's, that isn't a, a, a pilot's name, that. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Whoa, Every time I looked over, he seemed to have his hand on something and this fellow next to him sort of grabbing it going, don't do that, and he's sort of looking like, what? I think that's why they have doors on planes, so you can't see the captain. It's nothing to do with security, it's just so you can't see the div who's driving it. Because it puts you on edge, doesn't it? And then I looked again, he's got butties out. He sat there having his lunch. It's only an hour flight, have it before we go or when we get there. So it's just little things like that that niggle me. <laughs> you got hands on all the wrong controls and eat sandwiches. That's great. Where's the wonder? Drink. Oh, fucking 
Oh, Jarvis. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get close to the fridge all the way. Hello, mate. Okay. Steve here. Hope you had a good flight and everything. And uh, just wanted to let you know about a very slight change of plan. Um, Ricky and I were having a chat and we sort of agreed that it seemed a bit mad for you to go straight to Machu Picchu. So we thought um, you could just sort of make your way there through the jungle. You know what I mean? Just, just follow the Amazon. Um, I think it's only about a thousand kilometres safe to, to get to the wonder. Obviously, you know, we, we wouldn't leave you stranded. We've um, arranged for a local jungle guide called Will to look after you. He's going to sort you out with the place to stay and everything. Again, as always, very jealous of you, my friend. Um, hope you enjoy it. Bye. It just annoys me because they always say to me, that, well, you always come across pissed off and all that, and people would love to do what you're doing. But they wouldn't, because I'm constantly on edge. I haven't slept for about 30-odd hours. Uh, so... You ever been to the jungle before? No, but the, why would I? Why would I go to the jungle? I've never watched Tarzan. I thought, I'd like to go there on holiday. It never looks great. <laughs> he's right! It's the last one. Oh. Yeah, he's right. I know, but that's what worries me. It's, it's the last one. That's that's part of the problem, though, isn't it? Because Ricky and Steve are going, let's go out on a bang. <sighs> These are getting on me tits already. And it was the last one. I thought this would be like 10 episodes. Amazon. Is this it? Oh. I don't want to see all of it, so you get that out of your head. I mean, it's no different to the Thames, is it? Is that a nice place where we're staying, Will? It's a jungle one. We're staying in the jungle. It's getting to the end of the day. I've got to go in the jungle. I've got to try and sleep in the jungle. Be careful. I have to watch where you're walking. We have many species of dangerous things. I walk like a scorpions, tarantulas, spiders, uh, ants. Fuck! Fucking hell! What do you do? I want to go home. I need to happen. Now we are very lucky to find a light at the moment to lucky. find a place where we. We're lucky. Where we, stay. we are lucky. Come on! Oh, it's the mud. Fucking hell! Man. Yeah. Put a fit there over there. What are you fucking what? I'm not. Yes. Can't be bothered. What is this about? <coughs> How do you know where you're going now? There's, there's no path or anything. You're just chopping away. This is the place where we stay. We'll be resting tonight in here. This is a good place, is it? Yeah. Dude, oh my god. It's making me itch. What do you make of the campsite? It's not a campsite. What are you on about? Campsite. This isn't a campsite. I've been to campsites. A toilet, showers, maybe a little arcade. <laughs> He's so bad a fella on a, You know, on the front gate, checking you've got a pass to come in. To them, at home, watching it, they're going, don't know what all the fuss is about. We've seen this time and time again. I am knackered, and I don't know how to get that across to them at home, that I'm pissed off. We've filmed a little bit so far. I know, but I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what we could do. Like Attenborough does, he's got it right. He does a little thing at the start going, here I am in the Amazon. You never see him again, it's all voiceover. I bet he lands, I bet they go, keep that fucking plane engine running. Here I am in the Amazon, then he fucks off, back off, back <laughs> off home, and he's sat in the studio, and there I was with a frog. Where? We never see him anymore. <laughs> he's, never there. he's never there with a frog in his hand. It's always like a, a big close-up, you don't know where he is. He's at home. <laughs> I, I'm sat in a toilet that I've made uh, that I know I I'm, I'll be sat here later washing up having a girls. shit thinking what am I doing what am I doing I don't understand what they're thinking I mean I thought Ricky and Steve were sending me to Machu Picchu so why am I in the middle of the Amazon now
How was last night, then? I can't stay here again. I can't. I, I can't. Ah, oh, fucking shit. I can't stay here again. I've got to move on. And I can't do the tent again. So I might as well forget this. At like one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, I'm pissing into an Evian bottle. This wasn't the plan. This wasn't the plan. Nothing makes sense in here. That's the other thing, nothing makes sense. Now, that's how much water I had last night. That, there's a little bit left in the bottom there. There you go. So how have I managed to piss that much? <laughs> it doesn't add up. I've got to piss more than I've drank. And look at the colour of it, that isn't healthy. I'm not a doctor, <laughs> but I've never pissed like that before. <laughs> I know I'm not that old yet, but I reckon this is the lowest point of my life. <laughs> oh, girl. Yo, it's still hair on that mouth. Or red. These are all right, these. I mean, I'd eat a rodent. There's nothing else, but it's hard to sort of sit over there and tuck down, you know, tuck into a, a rat when I know I've got beans and sausage here. It just seems a bit, a bit daft, doesn't it? I don't normally cook at home. I'm a bit old to see them. The deal is, she does the cooking, I wash up. I've got a dishwasher now. I don't really do anything. <laughs> just have a wander about. Basically, I'm just showing you a tree now. There's nothing there. Don't be thinking that green thing's anything. I actually thought it was. Anything? No, it's just a bit of mould. You know, do we actually need these creatures for the world to, to go on? Right, that one there I'm talking about, the one with its head down. Right, there you go, it's walking over there. Having a little wrestle with another other one. Just started a fight, so that's that's a bit of a hooligan, that one. Everywhere you look, there's stuff whizzing round your ears all the time, or crazy. crawling up your arm, or I'm just going to get bitten a lot. Oh, little okay. stick insects are just round on a tree. Yeah, well, on yeah, there's always something on my arm. Look at that little fly sat there as well. Imagine it. Imagine being a sick insect walking about, you'd be forever going, is that what's his name? And you'd, be, you'd have to walk all the way up to the twig. You know, oh, it's just a bloody twig again. It doesn't work. She looks nice, I'm going over there. All right, love, oh, oh it's just a stick. It's hard, <laughs> it's a hard life to be a stick insect. <laughs> well, what's that tree all about? Oh, that's great. Trees, dangerous trees. I was worrying about scorpions and spiders and shit. Fucking tree with knives coming out of it. I feel like I've seen the jungle now. You know, I've had a route around, I've seen all the insects and that, so I might as well just have another look at the Amazon. You know, everyone seems to make a fuss about it, saying, oh, you know, the Amazon's nice and everything. What, what I saw of it the other day, I wasn't that impressed. But Will wants me to go out again, so I might as well, because there's nothing else to do. There it is. Will that come over? Huh? Tienes una manguera? Tienes una manguera? I had no idea they had dolphins swimming about. Do you like dolphins, Carl? Um, yeah, they're all right. It sort of gets on my nerves how people say they're really intelligent, because I've never seen any, any of them do anything that's blown me away. I don't know, maybe it's just the way they get raved about so much by people saying they're intelligent. That's what annoys me, because everyone's always calling me a div. So the fact that they're going, yeah, Carl's an idiot, but they're going, yeah, dolphins are bright. <laughs> that's, that's all I mean. There we go. All right, now. Be careful. Shit. Whoa. It's the waves. Ginger crinkle crunch.
It tastes even better here. Come on. What? I want to show you something. Come on here. What? Come on. Is that Will? I have something to show you. I think you never see that. Do you see this kid? Fucking hell. What's he showing him? I can't see it. I think he wants to oh, eat something. Sick. Did you say it's poisonous or it's no, not? No, it's poisonous. not poisonous. At all. Bad you. That's by you, but it's not poisonous. It's well, not poisonous. No, they are, again, that's no good. They are... So these are the ones that wrap round you? Yeah. And then you sort of breathe in. Oh, what's that? I'm going to stand over here a minute, cos... Why? You are in the jungle. I know I am. I wish I wasn't. <laughs> this is ridiculous, this. Nothing's normal, is it? I had two minutes over there, sat by a fire having a biscuit and a cup of coffee. <laughs> and all this is going on. I shook it a bit of biscuit. Well, what? I think it biscuit. You eat biscuit. How do you biscuit. know? How do you know? Have you ever tried feeding one of them? No, they well, eat, then, they eat them frozen. Then. Listen to me. Let, watch this. Watch this. <laughs> what? Biscuit? OK. Yeah. Can you get a light on it? The head is over here. That's a waste of a biscuit, really. <laughs> The noise is doing me head in. There's different insects going off all the time. I mean, they say most of the jungle is nocturnal. But I'm not surprised. It all has to be awake through the night. There's no chance of getting any sleep here, even if you're not a nocturnal animal. <laughs> Face it with this rocket, I'm not gonna get any sleep, am I? I know people who, who like nature sounds, they like to go to sleep to nature sounds. Not me, I do like white noise though. I like to sleep with the fan on. Not on me, but just the white noise to drown out everything else because horns and music and all the random stuff that happens. Yeah. Alright, mate. How's it going? Um good. Well, you you're heading worse. upstream. We've arranged for you to visit um a little village. Um, the the locals there are expecting you, um, and you should know to be extra polite because they used to be cannibals. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All right, mate. See you later. Come on. <laughs> Not a holiday. All right. Oh God. Ricky said to Frank, "Man, you having a laugh?" What does he mean, they used to be cannibals? Mm. Well, yeah. what, what are they doing now, then? What happens if it's just... I'm like a rare delicacy that triggers something off? I haven't, we haven't had a white man for, for years. Before you know it, they're all giving it all this. Hey, 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 around a fire, me sat in a pot. You worrying too much. Worrying too much. Just gonna stay with some cannibals, make you feel look, you know, feel at home. Okay. I haven't got a problem. If I got hungry, I'd quite happily eat human. There's no difference. They say it tastes like pork anyway. <laughs> well, say if they took I a lid off thing. and it was just a foot. And they sort of said have a bit. I I'd almost be a bit like, well, I want to know a bit about the person first. In the same way that we do with chickens. Everything's got to be, is it organic? Where's this been brought up? What field has it been on? What's it been eating? I'd be a bit like that. I'd want an organic foot. I'd, I'd, <laughs> I'd want to know the history of it. Did he have athlete's foot? How often he changed his sock? Just a little bit of something oh that God. goes, yeah, this is a nice foot. It's worth eating. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> People do want to know how to stuff like animals. Back, so that's... They don't know what that means, or they hate me already, I don't, I don't know. Nothing, nothing again. I'm not doing it again, it's embarrassing. It's like asking someone's name three times and not hearing them. <laughs> Are they smiling even? No, oh my god, they can't be spinning facts. That's this for sure, proper, man. This is proper, isn't it? I this I is like a proper saying, tribe. Yeah. Have you seen me? 
What a knobhead I look. What a way for them to see me. This. Are they up there? Oh, they're all watching as well. Some stairs here. You'd think they would have sorted this out for me if they knew it was coming. Do I want the bags yet? All right. OK. He's glad to see the back of us, isn't he? See you then. Look at him, he can't get out of here quick enough. He knows more than I do, obviously. Look at him. Not hanging about, no waving. <laughs> Raymond. Raymond. Anyone watch it at home, he does do tours. Oh, Raymond's getting out of there, man. He just throws the bag and pulls off. That's a terrible sign. <laughs> oh, Raymond's not playing. Hello. What's How are you doing? What's up? Yeah. Nice hey, hey. How are you doing? Hey. How do you say hello again? Hello. The chief? Around? Presidente. 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 Oh, this is going to be hard work. See, I don't like that. I don't like the big, uh, all the attention. That's one of the reasons I haven't got married. All that photo, everyone's looking at me. You know where to look. We're in there, we're now on stuff. It's like, what's going on? Alright, what, what's he uh, saying, Aldo? You know what? What? You know what? What's that? You know what? Hang on, hang on. Hang on a minute. Where are you coming? That's what I say. Why am I coming? Where are you coming? I'm coming here. Ricky and Steve, my friends, asked me to stay here on the way to Machu Picchu. I've just been explaining to a um, fella here that I'm on my way to Machu Picchu. Need somewhere to sleep? On my way. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be staying here in a tent. All right, let's all uh, let's get on with it. We've all got stuff to do. There's a woman with an axe. Right, um, and she's not wearing the stuff. It's like she didn't want to join in. A, it's mad, isn't it? No matter where you live, there's a nutter. Whether it's on a council estate in Manchester, London, in the jungle, there's always one in who doesn't want to join in. <laughs> swinging an axe about. <laughs> Looks like he's going to chuck it down. No one else seems to be showering. And I don't understand why. This is this is brilliant. I mean, this children, this is... They believe in nature and stuff, don't they? That you use what God gives you. I mean, I don't know, I've just made that up. They haven't said anything like that, but I imagine that's what they do. Is it alive? The way it's just left there. <clears throat> it's not looking good for it, is it? I don't live here, but I'm guessing things aren't looking good for it. But I don't want to say don't do that, it's cruel, because they'll go, okay, we'll go back to our old times then. Get in the pot. So if it's me or that, I'll let them have that. <laughs> Don't you, you want the head? Well, You'd love that, wouldn't you? You'd love to eat that. I saw you cutting it off. <laughs> you cut it off, you eat it. <laughs> but can you let them know that I don't feel like I should take the food from them? Everybody wants you to but you're not telling them what I'm saying. <laughs> I need, this is the one time I need you to, to explain. I don't, I don't think I should eat it. I shouldn't take food off them. I'm not actually a meat eater. I don't eat meat. Vegetarian. Mm. What are they doing for pudding? What's happening? 
What's, what's happening, Aldo? I didn't think I'd see that today. You know, a fella getting poisoned off a frog. A bit weird, wasn't it? And they believe that if they stick it on you, it gives you extra energy to go off and hunt, stuff like that. But it's all about up there, isn't it? You know, I mentioned my auntie Nora with the amount of drugs she's on. If she was here, she'd be up for that. She'd go on and add that. What, what, what are you mixing there? Toad and a bit of spit. Oh, I want to try that. If it hasn't been tested on animals, it's been tested on my auntie Nora. <laughs> That's funny. I was like, what is that? They just burnt in with a stick. And now they're putting the, the toad sweat and man spit on it. Does that hurt? Ah, ah. Does that, does that hurt? It makes you feel dizzy. Why do you want that? Mm -hmm. Why do you want to feel dizzy? <laughs> I'm going to be sick in a minute. <laughs> Say no. Hello. No, I'm okay now. Yeah. I'm full of full of life. I'm great. Can you let him know I'm full of energy? Tell him. Tell him now. I have that. So <laughs> tall. <laughs> I'm not having it done. Come on, let's go hunting. Oh, I did come trying. God. Let's see what's happening here. Keep walking. Keep walking. <laughs> is this for the hunting or is she just a bit forward? <laughs> then the women came over, put a bit of makeup on me, made me look like a like a jaguar. That's the idea. Why don't we bother having a show here today? Hang on. Young Johnny. Picking his arrows this for the championship. That's what I do in the end, to sort of build it up like it's important. This for £100,000. And he's got it. <laughs> anyway, they had a go. They were good. I had a go. I was shite. I must have had about nine or ten goes. Oh. But people were starting to leave. Oh, I can't do it. Can't do it. Poor Carl. Looks like they're going hunting. I thought they would have said to me, do you want to just come? Even if they didn't want me there. I know I wasn't that great this morning with the with the arrows. But they didn't even sort of sneak off and say, look, we're going to leave him behind because he's useless. Let's just go one at a time. Let's not make a big deal out of our hunt. <laughs> oh, the whole village came out again to see him off. <laughs> I love how Carl wouldn't even want to go. He just wanted, at least wanted the invite. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, he's getting left out of a party he don't want to go to. Like, I don't want to go. I just, it would just feel nice to be invited. And that's another thing as well about tribes that I read before I come here. They only count up to three because they don't need a higher number. Hmm? I read that. Yeah. Honestly, you like this, you love it. You're the red, right? These are all yours. Because they live in a world where they don't deal with Mass. It's all like, do you want chicken leg? Yeah. How many do you want? I'll have two. He sees he's not got it, has he? So, now watch. Right, so I win. Whee! Have you been out hunting? Yeah. How many chickens did you get? Got three. What, is that all we've got? No, Harry got two. Oh, so we got three and two. Oh, great. They don't need to, they don't need to go higher than that. <laughs> Which is why they probably don't understand Connect Four. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, someone else have a go. This fella looks serious. He's got a sort of a intelligent kid's haircut. Oh. 
haven't heard from you. I hope you don't just been mucking around. This is a job. Um, let's get you out of the jungle. You're going to catch a flight now to Cusco. Um, and you're going to do the Inca Trail. Come on, mate. Let's get on with it. have a real sloth. All right, boy. See you later. Yo, you got my kit. Paul. Hey? I, I, I think they want you to pay for all the gifts you've been given. Can you get Aldo to tell these that I haven't got any money? Because he's a bit awkward, this. He doesn't translate anything. You have to give them back. All right, I'll give them back. Yeah. But it's not because I don't want them. It's because I just haven't got any money. See, I don't have any money. They don't give me any money. Oh, that's not awkward to say. Seems like a bad ending now. It's all gone a bit downhill now. I haven't got any money. Basically, I've got to get on a plane and get over to a place called Cusco. Start the walk up to Machu Picchu, which is fine by me because it's we're getting closer and closer. It's just you know. Get on with it. Just waiting for a plane. It's weird that, isn't it? People at home will be going, but you're in a bus stop. Not. The airport. Where is the runway? Just, just over there, I think. That, that field. <laughs> it's, not, it's not an airport, then, is it? It's a bloke who's built a hut and got his lawnmower out. <laughs> is it safe? It just seems a bit mad that they've got planes when they haven't got runways. Like people on Bullseye when they used to win boats when they live in a block of flats. I wasn't even aware of this. That needs like 30% less oxygen. I've never heard of that. So that's going to wear me out, isn't it? They don't tell you that, do they? Come and see the wonder and suffocate to death. I mean, I know the wonder is meant to take my breath away. Not like this. They've got oxygen over there. They've got what? You, you can buy oxygen in reception. Is it like, do they have like a, a little cupboard, like the fridge that they have, where they charge you ridiculous amounts for a bottle of water? Up there, they'll have a cupboard full of oxygen, and they know if you're in there going, <laughs> you're not going to be going, how much? <laughs> you're going you're gonna to pay how much? You, you, what price do you put on a bottle of air if you need it? <laughs> I bet they've got a right scam going on here. <laughs> yeah, just about. I'm just uh, just left there yesterday, just in Costco. Oh, it's guy one. Want to talk about series two? Yeah, well, I'm not doing. I'm not doing any more of this. So you can tell them now. They don't even have to. Don't wait for me to get home. Just say he's not interested. He's been around the world now. He's seen it all. He's done everything. Knock it on the head. I've been through a load <laughs> of shit here. Tell them now, call them now, and tell them that we're not doing series <laughs> two. Nip that in the bud. Oh, so you've got me <laughs> going more now. Girls, <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> He's done with the whole thing. I love it. I keep looking over my monitor and it keeps flicking Apparently over it's here. a tradition that if you're going on a long walk, like I'm about to do, that I'm not in the mood for, it's good to see this doctor who blesses your body, checks out that you're well, and gets you ready for the, the trek ahead. So I, I, I meet this bloke, a local fella called Richard. Tiny. He's thinking he's miles away. Turns out he's about four foot, so he seemed further away than he actually was. Richard, yeah? Yeah. I'm you? Carl. Carl. Carl, yeah. Carl. How are your feelings? Um, Sick. Yeah. Uh, shits. Yeah. Headache. Headache. You got out like this bag of shite. 
bits of grass, plastic things. You know when you have a bowl at home and you go, I might need that, and you have like you chuck things in it, screws, bits of cotton, string, belly button fluff, whatever. It's like he'd been round and gone and emptied all the shit bowls around the country and stuck it in a bag. <laughs> Now he got out a guinea pig at one point. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what was going on. Does he bite? Yeah. He does? Yeah. But when you've seen a doctor who's using string and old earbuds and stuff, you kind of think, well, the guinea pig's probably got more of an idea of what's wrong with me than this fella has. So I just went along with it. I wanted a second opinion from him. You know what I mean? From the <laughs> guinea pig. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't quite understand what's happening here. Yeah. This is a dream. Anything problem for your guinea pig? He said all the badness that was in me was transferred to the guinea pig. So somewhere, you know, there's a guinea pig walking around with major shits. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> is it this way? Keep going. All right, you ready? Do we have to bring all this stuff? Jesus, it's like going out with my mum. She stops at every shop. You enjoying the what, car? No. Because I'm not well, am I? Not well. It's too hot. That bit of toffee you gave me is worn out. You got any more? I'm not in the mood for this. Just tell us which way it is. There's no way anyone will be watching this going, that looks pleasant. Elsie, fancy going there? Definitely not. How can I enjoy it after this? Or is it meant to work that way? That, you know... You're just happy to be there. God almighty. He said loads of people do this. I haven't seen anyone. How much better is it? How much better is Machu Picchu compared to that? Don't you think it's amazing that they made these kind of buildings and that it's just going to get better? I think you're talking shit. Because <laughs> I'm not looking for out here. This isn't a property programme, is it? I'm not going to go... Just like this, but just something with a bit, 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 you know, bit more outside space. What, what am I doing it for? If it's exactly like this, let's stop here. <sighs> Doesn't make sense though, because these things are living in look like bungalows. Well, what's the point if you've got to keep doing this? You might as well have a house with stairs. <laughs> Bit more pleasant. Fox, I think. What's that? Can I play? Up at the. I don't get it. Why don't they just want a rest? They've been walking up there with all these bags, out of breath, and now they're wasting breath, just making a racket. I mean, that doesn't even sound nice to me. That's not relaxing. <laughs> They're all doing their own thing here. <laughs> I mean, I've had, I had a cassette of pure moods, like panpipe stuff. Used to sort of make a bit, bit of a romantic evening. Didn't sound like that. And there certainly wasn't a rat involved. <laughs> He's so bad up. God for that. Oh. I'm going to keep walking. All right. Enjoy your dinner. Picture. Thank you very Thank much. You. Nice job. Yes. You're right. having a laugh, aren't you? See you. Ta da. Have we done a full circle? First impressions. There isn't one. 
there isn't one. I just feel, I felt that view earlier that I saw was better than this one. You sure you're looking at the right thing? That bit of grass and rock over there. <laughs> I'm not going any further. It's more of what we've already seen. I'm not killing myself. I've done everything that Ricky and Steve have wanted me to do. We need to do it anyway, Carl. We can't. Well, go then. You're standing here. The sun's going down. Get over there. <laughs> I'm not going. I'm, I'll, I'll tell you now. I'm not going anymore. <laughs> He's so dead. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh no. Oh, and then where do I find you? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of at the wonder. Kind of at the wonder, or are you at the wonder? I mean, I, I'm at the wonder. But I've only just got here, so I've been walking about eight hours, right? Now, right. I'm at a point where I can see the wonder, the cameraman can see the wonder, but Richard, who's in charge, is worrying, going, Sky, I want to see the wonder. Have you got a problem if we just see it from here, have a look, and go? I am not sure I'm happy about this, Carl. I want to see the wonders of the world in HD. That's what concerns me. Yes, friend. yes. I've got you this gig with Ricky on Sky One. It's a major television thing. Is, they're putting all their money behind this. This is, their, this is make or break for them. But I've been walking for eight hours, and the view from here is magnificent. Are you just saying that now? Are you being honest with me? I think it looks magnificent. Carl, I've never heard you use the word magnificent in my life, so I'm suspicious. <laughs> I know you're not going to let them down, you're not going to let me and Ricky down, you're mm. certainly not going to lie. You're never lying. Don't bother telling Ricky or anything, I'll speak to him when I get back. Alright. Alright, see ya. Yeah. Bless you, bye. Is he really not going to go with that? There you go then. See? Easy. We'll just do a David Attenborough job on it when I get home, just do a load of voiceover. Job done. Seventy miles from Cusco is one of the old, ancient cities of the world. A maze of old rock, um, sort of huts, you know, sort of rock huts, boulders, walls, lots of rock-related old stuff, you know, get, get lost in the maze. <laughs> that's, that's an easy thing to do, I and mean, look at that old fella down there, he needs a stepladder to get out of the place. <laughs> God knows what she's playing at. And that's good, isn't it? Wonder of the world. Protect it with some strings, why not? <laughs> I mean, I'm struggling here, if I'm honest with you. I don't know how to sell it <laughs> to you. Do you like llamas? <laughs> In a world. He actually did a voiceover. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that made it even better. Freaking man. That was great. Oh, that was great. That was fantastic. Oh, here you can Carl. Oh. So that's the... Is it the last one? I'll, I'll look it up and see. We'll see for sure. He's saying this is the last one, so... We'll see. I mean, from this season. I I thought I went to season 10. I, at least I remember thought I remember seeing an episode where it says season 1, episode 10. I could be mixing up with something else, but... We'll see. But this is good. I enjoyed this. Brazil... I like Brazil a lot more. And I, I say Brazil and China are probably my top two. Um, I say this is probably number three. And Mexico is four, maybe. Make sure I mix them up. But yeah, that's what I'm going to go with. Still, China number one. Yeah, Brazil number two. It's crazy. It's, it's the ones that he's like the most uncomfortable. I, I liked Mexico too. I thought the Mexico one was funny. But he really is is because he enjoyed himself. And he seemed to enjoy himself in Mexico a little more. There, are, there's a lot about Mexico that he he liked, and it's it's much funnier when um he's super uncomfortable and he was really uncomfortable in this one. I love when old boy jumped in like the boat and just threw his bag and like pulled off. And he's like he uh, he knows something I don't know. That was good. I enjoyed this man. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't do the. I should probably just edit it out just in case the whole scene where they're showing like uh boobs and stuff. Because I believe that's those what got me blocked last time they 
trying to on, they put on that section, but it was just a copyright claim. But then it just the next you know it was blocked. It, like when you click on it and try to clip it out, it just essentially encompassed the entire episode. And then, but let me upload it. So that's why I think it was maybe somebody reported it or something. I have no clue, no clue. It was only there for like fifteen minutes. So let's hope the same thing doesn't happen with this one. I'm sick. I'm them's gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna upload it first, see what happens. Then if I have to re-edit it, I edit it. But I enjoyed this, man. Idiot Abroad is such a great show. Um, everybody saying season... It's, I think it's season three. They said that some guy comes an episode on the show with them, which makes it even funnier. So I can't imagine how much funnier it's going to be when like Carl's hilarious by himself and they said somebody else brings, like like a, I guess, a, a little extra bit of comedy to the whole thing. So I'm looking forward to checking that out. Can't remember if people say it was season one or season... Uh, I mean, season two or season three. Uh, take a look and see. Um, guys, I do apologize for falling behind. On the comments, I've been trying to get to as many as possible. A lot more have been flooding in, and I try to balance out, get out as many um, videos as possible with trying to knock out as many comments too. And the comments have been kind of taking a small hit because I used to try, I used to get to a, a lot more than I, I do now. Uh, it used to be okay to get like, I, it's just not possible to get to all of them. I should say that, like, because uh, how many flood in from each video? I mean, some videos I may only get a hundred to 150 comments but there's some videos that had 300 400 500 comments and then um just getting through all those especially with uh the comment system even with a few plugins i installed like to like block certain scripts like that it still runs a little sluggy but not so bad and i try i don't like to just scroll through everything just like a whole bunch of stuff and move on i like to read every comment and actually um each comment i go through try to leave some type of uh response in regards to that comment because you guys took the time to leave one so i like to try to take the time to leave one that's the whole thing um i don't like to just go through and like a whole bunch of stuff which seems i don't know seems insincere and lazy some stuff doesn't some stuff people just like uh say something basic like i love the show so of course it's a like um, but some stuff I, I like to, like I said, I like to leave like specific comments. Um, but guys, thank you all very much for watching. Thank you all for being so understanding yesterday when I had to re-edit that video and re-upload it. I appreciate that. Um, I really hope you guys stay happy, safe, and healthy. And continue to leave suggestions below. This has been really fun. I've really enjoyed watching the show. I'm looking forward to watching a lot more of the show. And then amongst other shows too. Um... Yeah, guys, thank you all very much. And that is it. Hopefully you guys are happy, safe, and healthy, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.